Hi, this is Andy Gilman from Comcore Consulting Group. We're often asked, are there any shortcuts to preparing for a media interview? We don't think so. We believe media interviews are successful if you prepare, you practice the interviews, and then you bring a little passion to the actual interview itself. However, we do believe that you can simplify the preparation with a five-step process. Number one, learn as much as you can about the reporter, the publication, the blog, the TV station, or the radio program. Why? Because then you can customize your messages. And you can do that easily by Googling the reporter or publication, read things that he or, he, he or she has said before. And then, actually, when you get into the interview, one of the easiest ways to make friends of the reporter, not really friends, but be friendlier with them, is to say, you know, I read your recent article. I saw the recent piece you did. And they'll actually treat you a little bit better. Step two. Prepare your key messages. They're often called sound bites. Now, you don't need 10 sound bites per interview, but you need one or two. And they consist of a general broad statement, but that's often something a competitor or another organization would say. Add facts and figures. And then three, add an anecdote, an example, an analogy, or perhaps a third party. Who else says you're good and endorses your product or your service? Step three, prepare for the challenging questions. Now many people say, I gotta get ready for the hard questions. Yes you do, but first start with a game plan and offense, that's preparation. There are two kinds of challenging questions. First are those where you might have to give something up or concede a point. We kind of think that of as half empty glass versus half full glass. You're gonna have to concede a point and then you'll bridge or pivot to the positive information you wanna communicate. The second kind of challenging question is the one that you really don't even need to answer. If you recognize certain questions are either outside of your expertise, they're above your pay grade, or we like to say outside of your swim lane, then you'll know how to block those questions and then bridge to something you want to talk about. So if somebody asks about proprietary information, they want to ask about an HR issue or litigation or ask you to bash the competition. You don't need to answer all those. Reporters will ask, but you say, gee, I'd rather not talk about that subject. Here's what I can talk about. That's often enough. So that's bridging. Step four, be ready for the last question. Many people when they're say, is, by the reporter will say to you, is there anything else I need to know? They'll say, no, because you think you haven't made any mistakes yet. Well, this is earned media. You have to be ready to get your points in. So when a reporter says, is there anything else? Is there something I forgot to ask you? Two good things you could do. First is, repeat a message you've already scored. That works because reporters are busy. They're often on deadlines. And the easiest way for them to get a quote or use information from you is to go back to the first thing in their notes or the last thing on their notes or their computer or their recorder of some kind. Second thing you can do when a reporter says anything else is go down your list of points and score something you haven't gotten in yet. Reporters actually want to know your best information. Step five, tell the reporter for his or her audience, his readers, his viewers, where to find more information. Typically, it's going to be your website that has more information about your subject, but it might be a video that you produce for them, a chart you give them, you might direct them to a third party website or spokesperson who will support your efforts. So those are the five steps. Prepare for that reporter, prepare your key messages, get ready for challenging questions, take advantage of the last question, and direct the reporter to more information. If you follow the steps, you're gonna do better in media interviews.